Hello my friends and welcome back. I'm Dieter. And this is Dieter's Bar. Okay friends, today I picked a specialty whiskey for you because I, the first time I started I didn't know this company exists. And while I was on a hunt for a, a bourbon or a Scotch whiskey, I ran over it. I said, let's try that or make a video out of it. It is a Tennessee whiskey uh, produced by Green Brea. That company here. It's Tennessee whiskey. Now, there are several things to mention here. There is bourbon and then there's Tennessee whiskey. In my opinion, it's both the same. Uh, what's now called Tennessee whiskey was back in the old day was called bourbon. And then uh, legal remedies eventually gave the authority to call something bourbon to one side and Tennessee to the other side. They couldn't call it bourbon anymore. They call it Tennessee whiskey. Just like Jack Daniels. Jack Daniels tastes like a bourbon, right? I'm not a bourbon drinker. I'm more a scotch drinker. But in my opinion, the Tennessee versus the so-called bourbon, in my opinion, it tastes all the same. It's all in it. They don't taste the same. They're totally different tastes. But what I mean is they're in the same category, you know. They're not apple and oranges. They're apples. Green apples, yellow apples, red apples, brown apples. All together. Tastes different, but if you get my drift, it's uh, all the same. Apples are apples. Of course, then you distinguish between the taste, you know. Someone like the Jack Daniels. Other people like this stuff here. So it's a matter of taste. Now, now we got another Tennessee whiskey. And this is supposed to be compared to a Scotch whiskey, a bourbon or a Tennessee whiskey is always it, it's smoother, it's sweeter, it's full of a, a, a aroma and got just a fully blended bouquet of flavors and tastes in there which are really mellow sweet and delicious in my opinion and i just turned into bourbon maybe a couple years ago because i never drank bourbon before and people asked me to make the video and a video about bourbons too because i only made about vodkas and uh, scotch whiskies and I got into it and I actually like it. Uh, once in a while, not all the time, I zip on a nice bourbon or Tennessee whiskey and I enjoy it. Okay, my friends, let's go to this here. This company got established in uh, 1906, if I'm not mistaken. 1906 is a family business. Uh, of course, we had prohibition on all the stuff and they all survived it and continued with their exquisite high-end high-quality production of uh, uh, bourbon and Tennessee whiskey like all the other companies and it's a matter of what you can afford and what you can drink this bottle cost me $35 the bottles in a similar price range I would say if you go down below $30 Quality wise, you will not, um, uh, how can I place that not to offend anyone? Uh, let's say you, 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 you get what you pay for is the basics. Okay. Especially with bourbon. So higher you go like into the Dickel's, uh, uh, distillery, they got one of the best bourbons you ever going to get. All right. Their mash bill is absolutely stunning, delicious out of this world and I think it's one of their the their select barrel one of the best bourbons you can get the best bang for your buck so say you know I mean you really got to pay to get good stuff you can pay ten dollars for that and compared to that there's no comparison this is okay to mix but I would not recommend it to zip like straight on the rocks you shouldn't do that I got about 200 bottles, oh, oh, well, I got more there, 
over 200 bottles and nine out of ten times when I uh, pay a good amount of money you get good quality spirits uh, if you pay five six eight ten twelve thirteen fourteen dollars it's questionable you know I mean it's really true you get what you pay for so be aware of that my friends let's say let's see if I gonna recommend this one here for you guys all right and listen up my friends if you're not a subscriber of my channel please do so tell your friends about it let them know it's gonna be a fun channel I this is actually my second channel I had another channel with 4,000 subscribers and then uh, uh, tons and tons of, of, of viewing hours millions of views uh, I think I had like 12 million views all in within two years and then of course as YouTube they didn't like what I said and they just shut the channel down from one day to the other day so I'm doing it again only bar videos no more satire videos or anything like that like I used to upload there too those are on another channel which is on rumble you can find me there same name Dieter's bar Dieter's podcast and I hope I see you there all right my friends let's go to the nose first Very smooth, very sweet. Lots of caramel, kind of like Christmas smells you get when you bake cookies, the cookie dough, the, the cookie smell, the brown sugar. Oh, I think there's going to be a good tasting spirit here. Especially the family distilleries, they're small. They got anywhere between four and 20 people working for them compared to huge companies who got like 200 300 people working there you know they really take pride in the quality quality control by hand not by computer or oh, it's got to be good it's got to be okay computers make mistakes too you know personal involvement tasting smelling looking at it visual this how you got to do it small but good not quantity quality is important in spirits like that all right, my friends, let's go to the taste. <sighs> wow. Wow. I wasn't wrong. When I saw the color, look at this color, my friends. It's a very smooth, sweet, burnt toast tastes like with the sweetness of caramel overlay you have the rustiness of the burnt toast and then the sweet caramel on, on top mm. i'm still tasting it it tastes good it's really good i like it for that money i paid 35 dollars and i'm not even a bourbon drinker bourbon fan this is really a totally different world compared to my scotches Scotches, a strong, peppery, some sort of vanilla sweetness in there, but they really give you a kick. This is smooth, sitting in, in your, on your lounge chair, smoking a cigar, watching the sunset. It's absolutely delicious. I really like it. It's really good. Uh, I would say on a scale of 1 to 10, with 10 being the best, this is easily um oh man i don't want to overdo it but easily an eight this is really really good stuff handmade sour mash the sour mash is corn wheat and malted barley this is their mash bill for that and then of course it get put into barrels and sits there for several years i think it's four years for this one here before it get bottled up and then shipped out to get distributed around the united states i don't think this is going to be sent be sent over to europe because europe they, they drink dream beam in my opinion and stuff like that finding a good bourbon over for example in germany where i'm from is really a task you really got to know where to go what city what i mean you got to do a big research and out of my experience man that's such a long time ago 
in all my, I was 28 years old when I moved here to the United States and I worked the bars over there in Germany in bars and I did different things in between. Uh, I would say four bars I found in all, all over Germany that had uh, a decent selection, three or four maybe, of bourbons. And this, this, that was really rare. You know, most of the time they were out of that and that and they had two left, you know good bourbons so uh, i i, I want to say i'm happy i live in the united states because here you can buy anything you want to you got 400 different bourbons to show us from a thousand different vodkas he shows from uh, 500 different single malt scotches you can show us from you know and cognac so i mean i'm so glad that i live here where i just go out and get it and don't have to hunt for it uh, Next city down here, 30 miles away, uh, there's a store and, oh, man, 20,000 different kinds of spirits there. Absolutely stunning. i never seen that before. So you really can get anything here from $33 all the way up to $3,000. Easily, easily. All right, my friends. And this is going to close down the video for today. I will upload another one in the next few days. And if you got any questions, Please uh, leave a comment or send me an email and the email is in my description also. So stay safe, stay healthy, bye bye.